hey guys welcome back to my gaming channel so today we're gonna do a build in our sahara desert because this is like a really fancy building and i created this gorgeous build which is also on my channel i will do a video for that soon as well but you can watch the live version of it but in this build i thought what would you find in a really fancy beautiful expensive middle eastern maybe dubai you know like that desert resort vibe that's like super high-end and fancy a movie theater of course they would have their own movie theater for the resort guests so before we get started let's change our outfit i always like to change my outfit to something that matches the aesthetic of the build that we're doing i had like this little beyonce cowgirl vibe going on and i loved it but for this build we're gonna switch to something more deserty and also more movie so i ended up choosing the red dress that kind of has the greatest showman vibe and i loved how it turned out it just really matched that kind of movie aesthetic with the red and everything so let's go into our sahara build this is the inside this is supposed to be like the lobby of my my palace because i imagine this being like a desert resort or even like a desert palace and so this is kind of like the entrance so on the right side we have our kitchen and then on the left side is where we're gonna do our movie theater build um so in the kitchen we have some of the fancy gold wallpaper and the popcorn machine so i was going in there to kind of get some inspiration for our movie theater so let's go in so the first thing I'm going to do is start laying some red carpet. So I used the in-game red carpet flooring and then I went over it with a bunch of the actual red carpets because the ones that are carpets have this gorgeous print on them and they're a brighter red and I really wanted that bright red. This was hard to do because they don't lay perfectly because of the grid system in the game. So I just kind of maneuvered the red carpets until I had a little empty spot that was um, hidden by furniture so you'll see that I'm gonna leave a little empty spot that's gonna get covered by furniture um, in the back so that way the flooring is covered in the red carpet for my wallpaper I went with the Arendellian hall hallway wallpaper I love the way it looks because it really gives that like luxe movie theater aesthetic I also went in with the red curtains on the sides. I just think the red curtains with the red wallpaper, it just really gives that super luxe movie theater aesthetic. And then for the chairs, I went in with the armchairs and these just really look like those super comfortable leather seats that you would see in a really fancy movie theater. And now for the lighting i definitely wanted that romantic vibe i used a photo from pinterest that was my inspiration and i loved that the back wall was like a bar so i used two of the apothecary little bottle holder shelves and i put two of those and then i used some of the haunted mansion posters to look like movie posters i used one of the little kitchen shelves to go over the bar area i just love how it looks like a little bar that you could go and get like a little drink or something i used the little nightmare before christmas pedestals as mini little tables and my thought was to have these for lamps and popcorn so i really love the look of a bunch of popcorn in between all the seats so it really has that vibe for lighting i used the beauty and the beast lamps i just think these look so cute and vintage and they're just like the perfect twinge of lighting with the yellow and red it just matches the aesthetic and so far i am loving it so i'm going to save that before it gets crazy i'm gonna go in the kitchen and make a bunch of popcorn and i love that we have popcorn in the game now i remember when um there was a quest to make popcorn and i was like oh we should have popcorn and i kept that one little popcorn so i made a bunch of popcorn as well as some boba tea because i thought the boba tea had a really cute vibe i don't know if that's coming up yet but i made a bunch of popcorn and boba tea for our little concession stand which you will see so i'm going to drop a bunch of the popcorn and start putting them on our little pedestals
Originally, I was going to use these little octagonal, octagon <laughs> uh, side tables, and then I thought it would be so cute to do the little red footstools in front of the first row of chairs as little ottomans slash tables. I think that just looks super luxe and super fancy. So because we don't have like a giant screen, I used a bunch of the wall-mounted TVs, and I just did a bunch of them. And my first thought was that they would just all have the same photo but then I realized that the um, the photo that shows up first is not what I wanted I wanted one of the Disney movies and we have a Cinderella photo so what I had to do here was rearrange all the TVs and one by one change the photos this was a little bit of a struggle because you have to move each TV lower so I had to delete some of them pull some of them down and then pull it back up until I got each of them to have Cinderella on it so this was a little bit of a headache and it took some time but it was worth it in the end. Then I thought to really help the screen look more like a movie screen, I used the black wallpaper to kind of give that, you know, screen aesthetic. And I think it really works. And you get the vibe, right? When you're looking at it, you can see it's playing Cinderella. It immediately feels like you're watching Cinderella. So I think it definitely worked. I used some of the red banners to fill up the wall space. I think it looks super luxe. Again, super fancy. I used some of the white columns as well to keep that, um, that, desert palace theme so it really looks like you're in a super super high-end luxe experience vibe and then I'm also going to add in some of the red little uh, counter space items to give this like concession stand aesthetic so on here I'm gonna add more popcorn I thought it'd be so cute to add even more treats at first I added some dates because I thought they looked like hot Cheetos but I ended up not liking that so what I ended up doing was making some cotton candy and boba tea to fill up the space and I think it looked really cute it came out and it looked really like a concession stand so adorable also use some bags of seeds to look like chip bags you know if you put them on the side they kind of just look like bags of anything and I think it really looks like a bag of popcorn or a bag of chips and I love the way it looks I also use this trick for another build to look like bags of flour and if you haven't tried this you have to try it there's so many ways to get creative and I love how it turned out to add the when you wish upon a star mm -hmm. <laughs> the disney uh sound when a movie starts mm -hmm. i love this it came out so cute guys i'm obsessed let me know if you're gonna try this if you're gonna recreate it I would love to see if you recreate this. Tag me on my Instagram at Game Like Gabriella or tag me here on YouTube. I would love to see your recreations. I am obsessed with this. Now we need like a giant TV screen for builds like this. Um, 
I thought this would be the perfect time to upload it since the new star path is coming soon and we're gonna get this little popcorn squirrel and I'm obsessed with how this build turned out I truly truly love it I am obsessed and I had to come in take photos with my little robot companion I think this is gonna be so cute and this is definitely gonna be my thumbnail hope you guys enjoyed this video and spending time with me thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave an emoji like maybe the popcorn Okay, thank you guys so much. Happy Dreamlight Valley. Bye.